Hi kids! Today we will learn about the digestive system of humans. So let's start. Digestive system is a muscular structure like a coiled tube, which is about six to nine meters long. It begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. It is also called alimentary canal or gastrointestinal tract or GI tract in short. Kids, the food we eat cannot be used by our body as such. The digestive system is an organ system that works together to convert the food that we eat into simpler substances or nutrients that can be used by the body for growth and maintenance. Now let's learn the main functions of alimentary canal or our GI tract. Motility, moving food through the long digestive tract is called motility. And this is a very important function of our GI tract. And this happens through the stretching and contraction of muscles in the GI tract. This motility leads to the movement of food in the GI tract. Digestion. It is the most important function of our digestive system. That is, the breaking down of food into simpler substances or nutrients that can be used or absorbed by our body cells. Our body is made up of very small cells that need nutrients for their working. They use the oxygen and nutrients to produce energy and release carbon dioxide. They cannot use the complex food that we eat. So the process of digestion creates these nutrients from the food that we eat. Next important function of our digestive system is secretion. Secretion is a process of releasing chemical substances from a cell or gland. In our digestive system, many digestive juices are secreted into the GI tract. That helps in digestion or to break down the food particles into nutrients. Now let's learn about the organs that secretes digestive juices. Salivary glands present in our mouth, stomach, pancreas, liver, and small intestine. All these organs makes enzyme-rich digestive juices and secretes into the GI tract. So these digestive juices helps to break down food into simpler substances. Let's learn another important function of our digestive system. It is absorption. Food particles that are now broken down into simpler substances are called nutrients. They can be protein, vitamins, minerals, fats, or carbohydrates. Now, these simpler substances or nutrients are absorbed by the cells of the inner lining of the GI tract. These nutrients enter the blood which distributes these nutrients to the whole body, that is, to each and every cell of the body for its working. And this is called absorption. Next is elimination, that is the removal of the waste from the body. That is, all food that we eat is not used by the body, and the unused part is removed from our body. This is also a very important job 
of the digestive system. Elimination is also known as excretion. So kids, we learned what are the important functions of our digestive system. Now we will learn the process of digestion in human body. Digestion is a breakdown of larger food molecules into simpler molecules that can be absorbed by the blood of our body, which distributes these nutrients to each and every cell of the body. There are two types of digestion one is the mechanical digestion or physical digestion and the second one is chemical digestion. Physical digestion is the breakdown of larger pieces of food into smaller pieces. Physical digestion starts in the mouth when food is chewed with the help of teeth and tongue. And physical digestion is also carried out in the stomach when the food is churned and moved around. The churning action of the stomach breaks down the food further and also mixes smaller pieces of food with various digestive juices so that it's easy for the other digestive organs like small intestine and large intestine to further carry out the process of digestion. Now let's learn what is chemical digestion. Chemical digestion, it is the chemical breakdown of food into simpler substances with the help of various digestive juices. Digestive juices are secreted by various digestive organs they contain enzymes that break down the larger molecules into simpler and smaller molecules. First, the chemical breakdown starts in our mouth with the action of saliva. Saliva moistens the food that helps in swallowing it and also contains enzymes that start the chemical digestion by breaking down the starch in food. After that, chemical digestion takes place in our stomach and small intestine too. We will learn more about digestion in our next assignment. So kids, today we learned what is the digestive system, digestion, and also physical and chemical digestion. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.